Hey everybody, Scott Sprinter here at DocSports.com and welcome to the update for Tuesday, February 12th, 2019. We got a free pick coming up in just a moment as we look to stay hot with these free picks. We'll get to that in a bit. Uh, but first, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, real cool way to do so. You click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, which you can use on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Again, free $60 account. It all starts clicking on the link below this video. Hey, thanks for those who jumped on board last night in the NBA. We had just one play last night from all sports combined. That was the NBA seven-unit main event, uh, which we did cash, and that brings our seven-star plays in the NBA uh, to 75% winners going all the way back to mid-December. NBA overall, as you know, we've been red hot. 65% since January 2nd, and we're closing in on $5,000 of profit in that time span for $100 per unit better. So it's been an outstanding run of the NBA. It continues on Tuesday. We're nearing the All-Star break. We still got a couple of days left. Love two plays uh, on Tuesday night. One of those I'm going to give you in just a second. The other one is yet another seven-unit play in the NBA. First time all season, we've had back-to-back -back days where we've liked uh, plays enough to rate them as seven-unit plays. We absolutely do. And we'll look to extend the red-hot seven-unit run going all the way back to mid-December. We'll look to extend the red-hot NBA run, which goes back to January 2nd. Again, seven-unit play on Tuesday in the NBA. I've also got a two-unit play that's over there at the same place at DocSports.com and available on Tuesday morning. Uh, that play, by the way, the two-unit, I'm going to give you as a bonus here in just a moment, a free pick from the NBA. But don't miss out on any, any of that. Uh, we did pass last night in college basketball, a rare pass for us. Uh, after a big weekend, we gained upwards of $1,400 for $100 per unit betters this past week and hit that big seven-star main event on Saturday with the Nevada Wolfpack. We passed last night. Short card, we're back in action. We've actually got one top dog going on Tuesday slate in college basketball, and it's available on TuesdayMorningDocSports.com along with the NHL. So check it all out. Seven-unit play in the NBA uh, we've also got college basketball, our top dog play. We've got the NHL. And again, it's all available on Tuesday over at DocSports.com. We've been talking about some of these early movers in college basketball over the last seven days. We mentioned that we spoke to uh, Jason Simmel, one of the sportsbook directors here in Las Vegas. He's over at CG Sportsbooks, Vice President of Risk Management. And when we talked to him a few weeks ago, we asked him straight up, you know, are you getting beat up by sharps in college baskets? because the early movement sure wasn't winning, and he said, actually, we're doing all right in college baskets. So I wanted to bring you these early movers each and every overnight heading into the next day's card. As you know, we're a night owl here, and uh, we jump on these plays early in the morning, shortly after midnight, and uh, give you where the sharps are for those first moves. And here's what we got going on Tuesday, some first movement, sharps on St. Bonnie's. They've gone from a two-point dog to a one-point dog at St. Joe's. Not sure if, about this one as far as jumping in on it for me. I do have an opinion on St. Bonnie's in this game. And when you watch St. Joe's the last time out, it was on Thursday, they got an easy win, a very easy win. They were highly motivated. It was an emotional setting at St. Joe's. Uh, Phil Martelli's father, who was really close to this team, kind of a mentor to some of the players, had passed away two days before the game. And you can see the team was highly motivated to play their best brand of basketball uh, as kind of a tribute to Martelli's dad. And uh, they came through in flying colors over St. Louis. Not sure they're going to have that same motivation on Tuesday night. And it looks like some of the sharp betters feel the same way because they're backing St. Bodies. Uh, but a big revenge spot for St. Joe's. So it kind of keeps me off of it. A little bit of uh, good stuff on both sides in this particular game. And that's going to force me to pass that contest. Central Michigan getting early action against Bowling Green. Central Michigan on the road in that game. They're as low as five and a half after opening as high as a seven-point dog. Agree with that move, but, but now once you cross down into six and a half, six, five and a half, uh, gets to the point where it's moved, you know, a good point and a half already in a couple of the books, and we lose interest when they start to move like that. But again, early action on Central Michigan, driving that number down as an underdog at Bowling Green. And, of course, money coming in on the Duke Blue Devils as they are laying the points over Louisville. We've seen nothing but Duke money overnight thus far as they go on the road to take on the Cardinals in that one. We're actually passing all three of those games we just mentioned, but those are the three sides, St. Bonnie, Central Michigan, and Duke, uh, that are getting early overnight action. If we had to pick from one of those three, it would be on Central Michigan, but we'd want to grab at least six points in that game 
uh, if we decided to play it. We're not going to play it, but just our opinion on those three games the Sharps have come in on thus far. All right, uh, free pick for us. We go back to the NBA after another NBA winner yesterday. Uh, it was a total yesterday, total two days ago. Uh, we're going to go to an NBA side on Tuesday night. We're going to back the San Antonio Spurs, minus the points over the Grizzlies. Listen, San Antonio, you'd think they'd be fired up for this one after, uh, boy, what, four straight horrible performances on the defensive end. In fact, uh, the Spurs have failed to cover any of their last seven games They'll not only be motivated to right the ship, but you've got Memphis, who's certainly a step down in level of competition than what San Antonio has faced during this four-game skid. Remember, they played on the road at Sacramento, at Golden State, at Portland, and at Utah. And so this obviously is a little bit of a step down in competitive level when you take on the Memphis Grizzlies. However, having said that, uh, Memphis did win two of the three meetings thus far with the Spurs this season, including uh, last time out when they won by 10 points. I I'd like to note, though, that NBA favorites are more than three, but less than 10. They're on a huge spread run if they're in double revenge of a – excuse me, in revenge, not double revenge, but single revenge of a double-digit loss and are off at least two straight road losses. San Antonio fits the bill. They fit all those prerequisites, plus I think there's some extra motivation uh, coming from Popovich, and the players will respond as they normally do for Pop. Uh, with the situation that they've been in of late, just not playing well last four games. Good spot for San Antonio to come back and get a spread covering win. We'll back the Spurs, minus the points, our free play for Tuesday. And by the way, that is a bonus play. That is a two-unit play over at DocSports.com on Tuesday. Don't forget about that seven-star play main event. We look to extend that 75% two-month winning run in the NBA. We look to extend the 65% run with all of our NBA plays going all the way back to January 2nd. Big seven-star play on Tuesday over at DocSports.com, plus college basketball and NHL. We're involved in all three sports on Tuesday. All right, listen, if you like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs-up button. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, let's put Tuesday in the win column. Scott Sprites at DocSports.com. I'll be right back here Wednesday, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific, with our next report.